Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that I found to add decals to my models in Blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to edit mode and then go to preferences and then make sure you go to Allen's tab and type in import and you should see the import export import images as blends. And this is how uh, we're going to add our decals into Blender. And then once you have that activated, you can click on the image thing down here, images explains, find your image, and rotate it so that it's fitting onto your object. So this is the simple way of doing it. This is if you have a alpha background on your image, Blender will automatically make it a transparency layer. And this is also if you have a flat surface like a cube or a wall. But if we want to go into these other shapes, we're gonna have to use a different technique. So shift A again, add another image, add the images plane again, rotate it, and then what we're going to do is go to the modifier tab. So in the modifier tab, we're first going to add a subdivision surface and change it from Catmull Clark to simple and then bump up the resolution levels. And then after that, we're going to go back again and add a shrink wrap modifier and click on eyedropper tool and click on the cylinder. And then I'm going to click offset. So and then I'm going to do that again with the sphere. Put the Blender logo on the sphere and the cone just because uh, it's easier to tell on the cone but there is a problem that the logo gets really stretched out when it's on a object that has weird geometry but there is an easy fix for this. First you want to make sure that this is like where you want to put it. You want to make sure that the decal is on here and also the method we're doing it'll make the decal a bit smaller so maybe make it a bit bigger than you need because we're going to be applying all of our modifiers. So the first thing you want to do once you have it set is apply your subdiv modifier, then apply your shrink wrap modifier, and then click tab, and click U, and unwrap. And here you'll notice that the Blender logo is now very off. But if we go into the UV editor, you can see that all we need to do is just rotate it into the right position, and then enlarge it a bit, because that's why I said you needed it a bit bigger than you wanted. And then now the logo is on there and it is completely undistorted. So another thing I wanted to go over is I said uh, this works really well if you have a transparent background. And sometimes when you downloaded decals from Google, you don't get transparent backgrounds in your images. So I'm going to show you how to easily get rid of the backgrounds without having to go into Photoshop or something and delete them. So this works with like any solid color background. I'm going to be demonstrating it with the white color background but you could really do it with any background. Okay, so now that I have my decal, you can see that it doesn't have a transparent background, it has a white background. And you can also see the decal is CG Matter, one of the best tutorial YouTubers of Blender on YouTube. But uh, that's besides the point. So click on that and then go to the shading tab. And first thing we're gonna add to is add a mix shader node. And then we're gonna add a color amp node. And we're going to plug the color into the factor, and then the color into the factor in the mix shader. And then we're going to add a transparency node. And once we add that, you'll see that uh, the background is kind of gone away, but also you can't really tell here, but the logo is kind of transparent. So what we can do to fix that is drag in the black until the color doesn't move anymore, and then drag in the white to clip in the background color. And this works with pretty much any decal you'll have that has a solid background. So now we have all our decals. Thanks for watching. Um, please consider subscribing and liking. If you need any help, I'll answer all the questions in the comment section and see you next time.